you obviously got so close in the Heineken Cup last year and uh, the Amlin this time, but it's still a chance for European glory. Well, exactly. You know, the European competition always um, a competition where all players and supporters get excited about, and uh, the Amlin is no different to the Heineken Cup. Obviously, we'd you know we'd, we'd rather be given that the crack, but we're just as proud to be in the Amlin, and, and we're looking forward to that competition now. Uh, you obviously beat Newcastle earlier in the season, but you can't take anything for granted going into a cup competition, can you? Well, we certainly can't take a lot out of that game, um, apart from perhaps the philosophy. You know, they they certainly didn't send their best team down, and um, you know, but they think they showed their hand. Certainly, some of their strengths. You know, they still even without Carl Eamon playing, they certainly had a strong scrum in that game, and they scored three driving lineouts. So, we certainly know what they're going to bring to the game. Uh, is there a danger the players might look past the uh, Newcastle game? Absolutely not, you know, I think um, from our point of view, we, we know how difficult it is to go to Newcastle, we know they're a quality team and quite simply if we don't play anywhere near our best, we won't win, you know, we know that, we know we've got to produce some of the performances that we have done all, sort of this season on the road and if we can play well, there's no reason why we can't get this result, but, but we're going to have to play well. Uh, how big a role do you think the conditions will play up in the North East? Conditions will always play a part in any game and it's up to us to manage the conditions. The pitch is always quite heavy. I think you know that that's been well documented. I think over the certainly over the last couple of months, so it's going to be difficult to play a hell of a lot of rugby on that pitch. But from our point of view, you know we've got to adapt to it just as much as and as easily as Newcastle did. Uh, you mentioned the driving line out. Where do you think the game will be won and lost? Well, certainly from from our point of view, you know we we need to limit Newcastle's platforms certainly within our side out 22 because they're a very difficult team to stop with that driving line out. They've got a very strong scrum. We don't, you know, we've got to control the field really. So field position and territory is going to be hugely important. Uh, how are the injuries looking? Uh, Gareth Cooper have an operation? Yeah, Gareth Cooper's out. Put Tom Shanklin's out. Um, you know, but apart from that, uh, certainly at this stage of the season, we're picking from, you know, uh, a stronger squad as as can be expected at this stage of the season. So there certainly won't be any excuses offered from us, as in we've got injured players. So I think every team has got injured players at this time of year. Uh, just a quick question about Andy Powell. Do you fully expect him to be here next season? Yeah, of course we do. You know, he's contracted. There's a lot of paper speculation. Certainly, Andy doesn't really know where it's come from. Uh, he's been linked with the Crusaders. The Crusaders don't know much about it either. So it's uh, at the minute just spe speculation until you know until we get told any different. From our point of view, we you know he's totally in our plans for next season.